Hello Cowboys Nation! Here's another round of Dallas Cowboys news. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't team up. Cowboys release Evans and activate Well Let's Go from IR. TX ahead of the upcoming clash against the Detroit Lions, a game head coach Mike McCarthy has dubbed the biggest challenge of the season for the Dallas Cowboys, two transactions have been made internally involving Rishon Evans and Matt Waletsko. Evans was waived by the club and Waletsko was brought off injured reserve to take his place in the 53-man squad. The latter is now fully recovered from a shoulder injury that cost him most of the season, but returns to help add depth to the offensive attack. As for Evans, he will be subject to waivers and could be claimed by any of the other 31 teams. If not, he will become an unrestricted free agent and can sign wherever he wants, which also leaves the door open for a possible reunion on the Dallas practice squad. A two-time national champion for the University of Alabama, Evans was signed following the loss of Leighton Van Der Esch to a season-ending neck injury and joined the Cowboys having produced 67 starts in his first five seasons, including posting career-high numbers in both combined tackles, 159, solo tackles, 86, pass breakups, 4, and fumble recoveries in 2022. In 2018, he and the Cowboys made an official visit ahead of that year's NFL draft. The former first-team All-American would later see the Cowboys, in need of a linebacker, select, guess who, Van Der Esch with the 19th overall pick, leading the Tennessee Titans to take Evans off the board three picks later, at 22nd overall. Five years later, Evans arrived in Dallas to help fill the void created by an injury to Van Der Esch, but after stepping up and shining once or twice, his impact wasn't felt consistently and the Cowboys' loss to the Dolphins emphasized their top priority of locating quality depth at the tackle position. Enter Waletsko, a second-year offensive lineman with a high ceiling, but who saw the first two seasons of his young career paralyzed by shoulder problems. He will now have another chance to show that he can not only stay on the field, but that he can also fulfill his potential. When asked about the move during Wednesday morning's press conference, head coach Mike McCarthy said that there will still be things to be determined at the end of the week with Rashawn Evans as he is subject to waivers and could be signed back to Dallas practice squad if cleared. We'll answer that at the end of the week, McCarthy said. I think it's important to have that answered then. These are roster moves and they're tough moves. It's a little complicated. We're a healthy football team and we hope it stays that way. But when you get to this time of year, you start projecting, especially with young players, that's why you have to make difficult decisions like this. As for Waletsko, McCarthy is eager to see what he can bring to the field in his second season. We felt the depth with Wally would be beneficial, he said. We feel that Wally is ready to go. His time has been well spent in the weight room and in training and I think depth at the tackle position is important. Update. Cowboys cut LB Rishon Evans and activate OT Matt Waletsko. Ahead of Week 17, the Dallas Cowboys decided to change their roster. With offensive tackle Matt Waletsko's activation window closing, the team decided to move the second-year player up. In a corresponding move, the Cowboys are waving veteran linebacker Rishon Evans. Evans signed with Dallas practice squad after Leighton Van Der Esch was placed on injured reserve. After Evans fell outside the eligible elevations, he was signed to the active roster. The former first-round pick sometimes showed flashes, but struggled to earn playing time, with Marquise Bell and Damone Clark getting the snaps. Evans played nine games for Dallas and recorded nine tackles. With the Cowboys beating out another linebacker, the depth at the position is once again thin. The team is relatively healthy right now and coach Mike McCarthy mentioned that's why this move was a difficult decision. He also mentioned that they addressed this situation late in the week, which could mean that they could sign Evans again to the practice squad if he clears waivers. As for what this move means for Waletsko, he could see some starting snaps in the final game of the season if the Cowboys decide to put Tyron Smith or Terrence Steele and if their playoff position is locked up. Waletsko played three games as a rookie, but ended his season on injured reserve due to a shoulder injury. With 2024 being his third year with the team, the former fifth-round pick must show positive development to find a place in the squad. With two games left in the season, Waletsko could find that opportunity. If not, the clock will be ticking next year. 
Cowboys renounce previous first-round pick and activate injured reserve tackle. On the verge of a huge NFC clash against the second-place Detroit Lions, the Dallas Cowboys have made some changes to their squad. The team announced on Wednesday morning that former first-round pick L.B. Rishon Evans was being waived after just nine games. Dallas acquired the veteran linebacker after losing Leighton Van Der Esch to a neck injury in the Week 5 loss to the San Francisco 49ers. Evans was originally selected by the Tennessee Titans with the 22nd overall pick in the first round. Coincidentally, Evans was there for Dallas to take in the draft, but they chose the aforementioned Van Der Esch with the 18th overall pick. In a corresponding move, O.T. Matt Waletsko, a second-year fifth-round pick, was activated from injured reserve to take Evans' place on the active roster. In short, he returns to the pile of free agent linebackers who haven't found a permanent home this season. Evans' impact was minimal, recording just nine combined tackles in nine games. Cowboys Nation expected Evans to play defense in the same capacity as his 2022 career year with the Atlanta Falcons. The former Alabama standout spent a year in Atlanta, recording his career high in tackles, 159. Earlier this season, he was signed to the Philadelphia Eagles practice squad for a fortnight before voluntarily withdrawing from the team. Evans' tenure in Dallas was short-lived. Although he appeared in nine games, he only appeared in the stats in four of those games, finishing his Cowboys career with five solo tackles and four assists. That means he'll finally get the chance to show what he can do as a healthy player. After being drafted in the fifth round of the 2022 NFL Draft out of North Dakota, Waletsko impressed the coaches enough to make the active roster as a rookie. He appeared in just three games and played a total of one offensive snap before being placed on injured reserve due to a shoulder subluxation that required surgery. Waletsko had a history of shoulder subluxations in college and brought that with him to the NFL. Another subluxation in the opposite shoulder in the offseason required another surgery and led Dallas to move him to injured reserve. Now he finally has the chance to show his worth to the Cowboys in the offensive line just in time for the playoffs. I think this could mean a few things. First, it further decreases the number of players in the linebacker room who are true linebackers and shows his commitment to the dime package for the remainder of the season. Currently, the only true linebacker remaining on the roster is second-year player Damone Clark. Dan Quinn has used safeties Marquise Bell and Donovan Wilson as linebackers who lack size but make up for it with speed. My prediction is that Micah Parsons will spend more time as a linebacker without the ball after an impressive showing against the Miami Dolphins. After being destroyed by the Buffalo Bills for 266 yards on the ground, it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that the Dolphins' rushing attack could last even longer. Parsons recorded his second-highest tackle total of the season, 7, against Miami, and helped hold them to just 91 yards on 26 attempts. It was one of the defense's staunchest games against the run, and even more impressive considering the opposition. Evans' impact may have been minimal but only time will tell if the linebacker's more imposing presence in short yardage situations will be missed. What did you think of this news? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Dallas Cowboys news. Thank you.